If astatine were a celebrity, it'd be the one nobody can photograph. Rarest, naturally occurring element on Earth. Radioactive, mysterious, and somehow still part of the halogen family. Here's the wild part. At any given moment, there's probably less than a gram of astatine in the entire Earth's crust. That's like trying to find one sprinkle in all the cupcakes in America. History time, but fast. Mendeleev predicted it in the 1800s as Ica iodine. People kept discovering it and getting it wrong. The real discovery happened in 1940 at UC Berkeley. They made it by blasting bismuth with alpha particles in a cyclotron. Corson Mackenzie Segre. They named it from the Greek astatos, meaning unstable. Accurate. How unstable? Its most useful isotopes last hours. At 210, about 8 hours. At 211, about 7. Blink and poof new element as it decays. So what can it do besides play hard to get? Astatine 211 is a rising star in targeted alpha therapy. Tiny high impact punch delivered to cancer cells via antibodies, short range, big energy, less collateral damage to nearby healthy tissue. That's a huge deal in radio medicine. Chemically, it acts like iodine's heavyweight cousin, but it's moody. It can behave like a halogen or get a little metallic. Labs create it on demand by hitting bismuth with alpha particles and cyclotrons, then rush to use it before the clock runs out. Fun facts, lightning round. It might form astatide like iodide, but good luck isolating it. Its vapor and compounds are so radioactive that experiments are done in shielded hot cells. If you had a speck, it would heat itself from its own decay. So yeah, astatine is the ultimate limited edition drop of the periodic table. Predicted, chased for decades, finally made, and now helping doctors aim tiny nuclear haymakers at cancer. If you loved this science snack, tap like, smash subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss the next element deep dive. Drop a comment. What did you learn today?